Hey guys, Kip K here, and as many of you know, we had a major hurricane come through Florida about a week ago, Hurricane Irma, and it definitely affected just about everyone in Florida, including yours truly. We actually had to evacuate to higher ground, and uh, fortunately, everything was pretty much okay. We had a little minor damage here at the home front, but you know, there was like six million people without power in Florida. And there was about 600,000 without power right here in Pinellas County where I live. That can create all kinds of problems. And a big issue is not having power and not being able to power your refrigerator. Well, I'm gonna show you a really cool hack where you can power your refrigerator with a 12 volt battery. I'm gonna take you over to my buddy Henrik's house. He is the crazy mad scientist. Let's check it out. So what better is a sign of a mad scientist than a lot of clutter? He's got an awesome computer station, but down this hallway is where all the magic happens. Now, while it may look like a complete mess to you, it's not. You ask him for a 47 ohm resistor and he'll find it in a second. So let's get to this hack. First off, we're gonna unplug the refrigerator. You can see it's completely off here. And the first crucial step is to change the light bulbs in the refrigerator. That's right, they usually have incandescent bulbs, which use a lot more wattage than these LED bulbs, which is what we're gonna use to replace the light in the fridge and the freezer. So that'll drop us down from 100 watts total to only 12 watts, which will help us in this project. Now to the battery. We're gonna be using a standard 18 amp hour 12 volt battery. This is a smaller battery. It comes out of a jet ski and it's more practical if you're gonna have it inside your house than a car battery, which you could also use for this project. And the main component that's gonna make this all happen is this 750 watt power inverter. Now this takes 12 volts DC and converts it into 110 to 125 AC, the US standard. Now while it's 750 watts, it's 1500 watts peak, which is gonna be helpful for this project to work. And it has a set of jumper cables that'll attach to our 12 volt battery. Now as a comparison, here is another power inverter. It's the same size, but it's only 500 watts and it's not gonna do the job. So you wanna be sure you have a minimum of a 750 watt power inverter. Now to measure what's going on, we're gonna use a kilowatt, which will measure amperage and wattage through this setup. So we'll go ahead and plug that into one of the ports in the inverter. And then we're going to attach this small LED meter, which will measure the voltage on the battery. Now, as we fire up the inverter, you'll see it's outputting about 120 volts, and you can also see the voltage here on that 12 volt battery. Okay, so we moved everything over closer towards the refrigerator for this setup, and now we're ready to give it a shot. All right, here's the power cord for the refrigerator, and we're going to plug it into the kilowatt, and you'll see as soon as we plug it in, the lights come on in the refrigerator. Our refrigerator is now powered up with a 12 volt battery. It's drawing about 220 watts and about two amps. So this system will power a refrigerator for about an hour, and then you need an hour off to charge the battery. And it takes about four hours for food to go bad in a dead refrigerator. So if you do an hour on and an hour off, you could easily save everything in your refrigerator and power your fridge enough in an emergency. So that's how to power your refrigerator with a battery. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.